Hello and welcome to the online smartphone quiz powered by Kahoot and brought to you by Irish Entertainments. My name is John O'Connor and I'm the host for today's quiz. I'll be teaching you all the basics on how to play and interact with this quiz. Kahoot is used by billions of people worldwide and now we've made it possible for you to play with family and friends near and far. All you need to get started is the free Kahoot app, which is available on the Google Play and App Store. To launch the game on the big screen is a must, and we've made this possible by live streaming our quizzes via YouTube. Now you can head over to the game lobby, get ready to enter your game pin. If you don't see the game pin at the top of the screen, this means it is a pay to play quiz. You can usually find out how to get access to this pin on the live video or in the YouTube video description. After you've obtained the pin, simply enter it in the app along with your email address and team name. When that's all done, just hit enter. You should now see your team name on the live stream. Here are some of the types of questions we will be asking. Multiple choice, True or false, picture, sequence puzzles, open-ended. Let's take a closer look at some of these questions. First, this is multiple choice. Our multiple choice questions are usually three choices and sometimes four. During the loading of each question, your device screen will constantly change to match the question format. So for this one, you will have four colors each with a different shape inside. Simply select the color which matches your answer. The key thing to remember here is that timing is everything in this quiz. The quicker you answer, the more points you earn. Keep an eye on that countdown. We have it set at 30 seconds. Note the time you will be seeing may not be a true reflection of the actual time as there is a lag, which means a time delay in broadcasting and by the time it reaches you. Our advice is not to let the countdown to fall below 8 seconds on your end. If you're experiencing large gaps of time between your live stream video and the game app, then try refreshing your YouTube live stream by stopping and starting it again. Ok, let's take a look at how speed earns more points and why that matters. Notice the iPhone on the left and the iPad on the right. The left side team has answered this question correctly and a short while later the one on the right has answered correctly also but hasn't earned as many points. Next style question is called open-ended or as we like to call it first letter. In the open-ended we can see on this occasion it's a picture question. But rather than spelling the whole answer, all we ask for is the first letter of your answer. While we can accept full length answers, it's much more convenient and faster. On the screen you will see all the answers that have been submitted, but the only ones left standing are the correct ones. Let's give you another quick example of open questions, but this time using numbers as an answer. Whenever we ask a question which requires a number for your answer, please only use digits and not numerical spellings. Simply enter the digit or digits and hit send. Again, all answers can be viewed, but only the correct one is left standing. And for now, finally, we have sequence puzzles. Players just need to place the answers in the correct order from left to right so that is it, that's the basics on how to play. But don't worry, if you didn't take it all in, I will be giving you a guide on each question as they appear in the quiz. While all this sounds great, and we love hosting online quizzes, and having players from all over the globe take part, the sad reality is that we are all reliant on other factors that are outside our control to make it a success. There are just a few things to keep in mind. Connected players, and their own internet. Give yourself the best chance to stay connected to the game by selecting the best option like are you playing this game near your home Wi-Fi network or would you be better connected to your mobile data. 
What happens if a call comes in during the game? The final part of the jigsaw is how are Kahoot servers behaving while the live stream is happening? While we've had some great successful live streams, it is possible that some of these actions are outside my control and force us to suspend a game. However, we will reschedule the rest of the game for us to complete. So that's it folks. Thanks for watching and let's get ready for some live online quizzing. Hello and welcome to the online smartphone quiz powered by Kahoot and brought to you by Irish Entertainments. My name is John O'Connor and I'm the host for today's quiz. I'll be teaching you all the basics on how to play and interact with this quiz. Kahoot is used by billions of people worldwide and now we've made it possible for you to play with family and friends near and far. All you need to get started is the free Kahoot app, which is available on the Google Play and App Store. To launch the game on the big screen is a must, and we've made this possible by live streaming our quizzes via YouTube. Now you can head over to the game lobby, get ready to enter your game pin. If you don't see the game pin at the top of the screen, this means it is a pay to play quiz. You can usually find out how to get access to this pin on the live video or in the YouTube video description. After you've obtained the pin, simply enter it in the app along with your email address and team name. When that's all done, just hit enter. You should now see your team name on the live stream. Here are some of the types of questions we will be asking. Multiple choice, true or false, picture, sequence puzzles, open-ended. Let's take a closer look at some of these questions. First, this is multiple choice. Our multiple choice questions are usually three choices and sometimes four. During the loading of each question, your device screen will constantly change to match the question format. So for this one, you will have four colors each with a different shape inside. Simply select the color which matches your answer. The key thing to remember here is that timing is everything in this quiz. The quicker you answer, the more points you earn. Keep an eye on that countdown. We have it set at 30 seconds. Note the time you will be seeing may not be a true reflection of the actual time as there is a lag, which means a time delay in broadcasting and by the time it reaches you. Our advice is not to let the countdown to fall below 8 seconds on your end. If you're experiencing large gaps of time between your live stream video and the game app, then try refreshing your YouTube live stream by stopping and starting it again. Okay, let's take a look at how speed earns more points and why that matters. Notice the iPhone on the left and the iPad on the right. The left side team has answered this question correctly and a short while later the one on the right has answered correctly also but hasn't earned as many points. Next style question is called open-ended or as we like to call it first letter. In the open-ended we can see on this occasion it's a picture question. But rather than spelling the whole answer, all we ask for is the first letter of your answer. While we can accept full length answers, it's much more convenient and faster. On the screen you will see all the answers that have been submitted, but the only ones left standing are the correct ones. Let's give you another quick example of open questions, but this time using numbers as an answer. Whenever we ask a question which requires a number for your answer, please only use digits and not numerical spellings. Simply enter the digit or digits and hit send. Again, all answers can be viewed, but only the correct one is left standing. And for now, finally, we have sequence puzzles. Players just need to place the answers in the correct order from left to right so that is it, that's the basics on how to play. But don't worry, if you didn't take it all in, 
I will be giving you a guide on each question as they appear in the quiz. While all this sounds great, and we love hosting online quizzes, and having players from all over the globe take part, the sad reality is that we are all reliant on other factors that are outside our control to make it a success. There are just a few things to keep in mind. Connected players and their own internet. Give yourself the best chance to stay connected to the game by selecting the best option like are you playing this game near your home Wi-Fi network? Or would you be better connected to your mobile data? What happens if a call comes in during the game? The final part of the jigsaw is how are Kahoot servers behaving while the live stream is happening? While we've had some great successful live streams, it is possible that some of these actions are outside my control and force us to suspend a game. However, we will reschedule the rest of the game for us to complete. So that's it folks. Thanks for watching and let's get ready for some live online quizzing. Hello and welcome to the online smartphone quiz powered by Kahoot and brought to you by Irish Entertainments. My name is John O'Connor and I'm the host for today's quiz. I'll be teaching you all the basics on how to play and interact with this quiz. Kahoot is used by billions of people worldwide and now we've made it possible for you to play with family and friends near and far. All you need to get started is the free Kahoot app, which is available on the Google Play and App Store. To launch the game on the big screen is a must, and we've made this possible by live streaming our quizzes via YouTube. Now you can head over to the game lobby, get ready to enter your game pin. If you don't see the game pin at the top of the screen, this means it is a pay to play quiz. You can usually find out how to get access to this pin on the live video or in the YouTube video description. After you've obtained the pin, simply enter it in the app along with your email address and team name. When that's all done, just hit enter. You should now see your team name on the live stream. Here are some of the types of questions we will be asking. Multiple choice true or false, picture, sequence puzzles, open-ended. Let's take a closer look at some of these questions. First, this is multiple choice. Our multiple choice questions are usually three choices and sometimes four. During the loading of each question, your device screen will constantly change to match the question format. So for this one, you will have four colors each with a different shape inside. Simply select the color which matches your answer. The key thing to remember here is that timing is everything in this quiz. The quicker you answer, the more points you earn. Keep an eye on that countdown. We have it set at 30 seconds. Note the time you will be seeing may not be a true reflection of the actual time as there is a lag, which means a time delay in broadcasting and by the time it reaches you. Our advice is not to let the countdown to fall below 8 seconds on your end. If you're experiencing large gaps of time between your live stream video and the game app, then try refreshing your YouTube live stream by stopping and starting it again. Ok, let's take a look at how speed earns more points and why that matters. Notice the iPhone on the left and the iPad on the right. The left side team has answered this question correctly and a short while later the one on the right has answered correctly also but hasn't earned as many points. Next style question is called open-ended or as we like to call it first letter. In the open-ended we can see on this occasion it's a picture question. But rather than spelling the whole answer, all we ask for is the first letter of your answer. While we can accept full-length answers, it's much more convenient and faster. On the screen you will see all the answers that have been submitted, but the only ones left standing are the correct ones. 
Let's give you another quick example of open questions, but this time using numbers as an answer. Whenever we ask a question which requires a number for your answer, please only use digits and not numerical spellings. Simply enter the digit or digits and hit send. Again, all answers can be viewed, but only the correct one is left standing. And for now, finally, we have sequence puzzles. Players just need to place the answers in the correct order from left to right. So that is it. That's the basics on how to play. But don't worry if you didn't take it all in. I will be giving you a guide on each question as they appear in the quiz. While all this sounds great, and we love hosting online quizzes and having players from all over the globe take part, the sad reality is that we are all reliant on other factors that are outside our control to make it a success. There are just a few things to keep in mind. Connected players and their own internet. Give yourself the best chance to stay connected to the game by selecting the best option like are you playing this game near your home Wi-Fi network? Or would you be better connected to your mobile data? What happens if a call comes in during the game? The final part of the jigsaw is how are Kahoot servers behaving while the live stream is happening? While we've had some great successful live streams, it is possible that some of these actions are outside my control and force us to suspend a game. However, we will reschedule the rest of the game for us to complete. So that's it folks. Thanks for watching and let's get ready for some live online quizzing. Hello and welcome to the online smartphone quiz powered by Kahoot and brought to you by Irish Entertainments. My name is John O'Connor and I'm the host for today's quiz. I'll be teaching you all the basics on how to play and interact with this quiz. Kahoot is used by billions of people worldwide and now we've made it possible for you to play with family and friends near and far. All you need to get started is the free Kahoot app which is available on the Google Play and App Store. To launch the game on the big screen is a must and we've made this possible by live streaming our quizzes via YouTube. Now you can head over to the game lobby Get ready to enter your game pin. If you don't see the game pin at the top of the screen, this means it is a pay to play quiz. You can usually find out how to get access to this pin on the live video or in the YouTube video description. After you've obtained the pin, simply enter it in the app along with your email address and team name. When that's all done, just hit enter. You should now see your team name on the live stream. Here are some of the types of questions we will be asking. Multiple choice, true or false, picture, sequence puzzles, open-ended. Let's take a closer look at some of these questions. First, this is multiple choice. Our multiple choice questions are usually three choices and sometimes four. During the loading of each question, your device screen will constantly change to match the question format. So for this one, you will have four colors, each with a different shape inside. Simply select the color which matches your answer. The key thing to remember here is that timing is everything in this quiz. The quicker you answer, the more points you earn. Keep an eye on that countdown. We have it set at 30 seconds. Note, the time you will be seeing may not be a true reflection of the actual time, as there is a lag, which means a time delay in broadcasting and by the time it reaches you. Our advice is not to let the countdown to fall below eight seconds on your end. If you're experiencing large gaps of time between your live stream video and the game app, then try refreshing your YouTube live stream by stopping and starting it again. Okay, let's take a look at how speed earns more points and why that matters. Notice the iPhone on the left and the iPad on the right. The left side team has answered this question correctly. 
and a short while later the one on the right has answered correctly also but hasn't earned as many points. Next style question is called open ended or as we like to call it first letter. In the open ended we can see on this occasion it's a picture question but rather than spelling the whole answer all we ask for is the first letter of your answer. While we can accept full length answers, it's much more convenient and faster. On the screen you will see all the answers that have been submitted, but the only ones left standing are the correct ones. Let's give you another quick example of open questions, but this time using numbers as an answer. Whenever we ask a question which requires a number for your answer, please only use digits and not numerical spellings. Simply enter the digit or digits and hit send. Again, all answers can be viewed, but only the correct one is left standing. And for now, finally, we have sequence puzzles. Players just need to place the answers in the correct order from left to right. So that is it, that's the basics on how to play. But don't worry, if you didn't take it all in, I will be giving you a guide on each question as they appear in the quiz. While all this sounds Okay, so very good evening to you guys. I hope I find you well this Saturday evening, 2nd of May. I'm your host, John O'Connor. It is a very good evening to you. It is Passage East. Hurling JEA quiz with you tonight. We have 80 questions coming your way very, very soon. Uh, we are available on the live chat on YouTube as well. If there's any requests, dedications, shout outs, or any issues maybe you're having, let us know in the chats on live stream YouTube. What have we got? About 72 players connected and ready to do battle for three prizes, I think we have. Uh, top prize, first prize, 10 kids to the uh, Busy Barn Mini Farm. That's one of the prizes. We have a voucher for Emiliano's. Nice one. And a voucher for Demis Taxi Service as well. We're going to have a bit of fun with this tonight. It's a family-friendly style quiz. There's something there for all ages. Some for the adults, some for the kids, and some for somewhere in the middle. 
I'm looking forward to this one tonight. Hope you are in good form as uh, quarantine quizzing continues. You may have played this before. If not, I'm going to be guiding you through how to play this step by step tonight. We have multiple choice as one of the most common questions. We will have first letter of your answer for some of them. And tonight as well, we have uh, full spelling uh, questions as well. Nice and easy, not too difficult. Um, we're going to give this another minute or so. There's still more teams joining in as we speak here. Uh, we have 80 questions, as I mentioned. In total, we're going to split that up into four rounds of 20. We're going to give you a five-minute break then after uh, each round of 20 uh, to run to bathrooms, top up drinks, whatever it is you need to do. And then we come straight back in with the next set of questions. If you're new to the channel, we'd love you if you would love it if you could subscribe to the channel, actually, it'd be great because we're going to do a lot of these quizzes going forward. We have an established Thursday night. That one's going to be staying with us even after the quarantine. Uh, it's been going really, really well and it's open to everybody. OK, so it's just a five euro quiz and we have a cash prize. That's Thursday nights at 9 p.m. Now, uh, when you registered your Kahoot app, you gave in your email address. That allows us to uh, give the organizers of the quiz uh, your email addresses so they can get in contact with you and get the prizes over to you. And uh, on the other side of that, then we will uh, add you to our newsletter, which goes out every Thursday morning, letting you know of the quizzes that are coming up. Now, you're more than welcome to unsubscribe from that if it's not something of interest to you. But it is, uh, it's going out to a thousand people at the moment. So that's... It's pretty cool stuff. Okay, so it's hanging around the 77 there now, folks. We're going to crack on with the first 20 questions. And I will guide you as to what I'm looking for, if it's multiple choice, if it's first letter, if it's numbers, or if it's a full spelling, okay? The very best of luck to you guys. Hope you enjoy it. Here we go. Okay, question number one is multiple choice. Which of these is a form of golf played with obstacles? Is it loopy golf, dizzy golf, barmy golf, crazy golf? Select the option you think is correct as quick as you can. Keep an eye on that countdown as well. You don't want it falling below five or six seconds on your end. We have to allow for a time delay, a lag on a live stream, folks. So don't let that catch you out. Sixty-eight correct answers. It is crazy golf. Okay, so on my screen you will see the top five performing teams in tonight's quiz. On the bottom right-hand corner of your app has your score there. It'll show you what you have versus the top five. Okay, so next question. Question two, multiple choice. A sick bay is most likely to be found on which mode of transport? Train, ship, plane, or lorry? Seventy one correct answers with ship is the correct answer here. OK, you're going to see teams bouncing around there for the first uh, couple of rounds, jumping in and out of the top five positions. So don't worry about that. Um, let's move on. So with question number three. In which city is the American TV series Sex in the City based? Chicago, Boston, New York, Los Angeles. Sixty 
64 correct answers here. It is New York is the correct answer. Okay, new leaders, new leaders. Fenner Raiders have just gone into the lead with this question. Burr in second, Podge in third. Next question. Multiple choice. Passage Hurling Club draws its members from... Is it the Barney of Farnley? Is it Gaultier, Rathdown, or Costello? Sixty-nine with Galtier. Well done, sixty-nine. Okay, no change at the top. It is question number five. In two thousand and nine, who became the only only the third Premier League player to score five goals in a single match? Is it Louis Saha, Jermaine Defoe, Fernando Torres, or is it Darren Bent? Okay, 41 correct answers with Jermaine Defoe is the correct answer. Okay, looks like we have new leaders. Corcoronas. Federators into second place. Question number six. Which of these animals is not a member of the cat family? Cheetah, lynx, mongoose, jaguar. Seventy-three correct answers. Mongoose is correct. Well done to all of you who had it right. Fenner Raiders back into the lead. Okay, so here is question seven. Multiple choice. What do many fans of rapper Eminem call themselves? Stans, Dans, Eminem's, Franz. Fifty-seven correct answers here with stands. No change in the top five. Here's question eight. Which word follows Lima in the phonetic alphabet? Mike, Mama, Maria, Madrid. Forty-four correct answers with Mike. Okay, LBW have moved up a position, as did I shot JR. Ian and Annie are in fifth place. Right, next question. Question nine. Complete the song in the charts by Maroon 5, Cardi B, Girls Like What? 
Me, you, us, makeup. It's not currently in the charts, but it was in the charts. Complete the song by Maroon 5, Cardi B, Girls Like What? Is it me, you, us? Fifty six correct answers. Girls like you. I shot JR. Four teams have moved up a position, but none have overtaken Fenner Raiders, who are comfortable in the lead for the moment. Here's question ten. The island of Sumatra belongs to which country? Is it Australia, Indonesia, Philippines, Malaysia? Fifty-two correct answers. Indonesia. Okay, so uh, we have new leaders. I shot Jr. Have gone into the lead. Happy Penguins are in fourth place. Next question. Question eleven. Which American state is this? There's a picture here. Is that Texas, Hawaii, or Montana? Seventy-one correct answers with Texas. A uh, couple of teams moving and shaking in the top five. Good to see. Here is question twelve. Multiple choice. What is on the logo of Malibu Rum? Is it a sailboat, two palm trees, man in a sombrero, or flock of seagulls? Seventy-five correct answers with two palm trees. Okay, so question thirteen, multiple choice. Who won the Barclays Premier League in season 2012-2013? Was it Chelsea, Blackburn Rovers, Arsenal or Manchester United? Thirty-eight correct answers with Manchester United. Okay, so returning back in, Fenner Raiders. All right, here's question fourteen. Which of these teams has Kevin Keegan not been a manager of? Newcastle, Fulham, Liverpool, Manchester City. Couple of sports questions back to back. Forty two correct answers with Liverpool. We have new leaders. 
The Hillbillies make the comeback with three in a row here. Good stuff. Here's question 15. In 2013, Manuel Pellegrini became manager of which English football team? Newcastle United, Crystal Palace, Chelsea, Manchester City. Sixty-seven correct answers. Manchester City. Okay, question sixteen. For how long did Dick Donnelly hold the position of treasurer? Forty-eight years, twenty-eight years, thirty-eight years, eighteen years. Thirty-one correct answers with forty-eight years. Right, what's this done to the scoreboard? The Cockeronan is second place. Dive it, drive it long is fifth place. Well done, lads. Let's play uh, question seventeen now. Which movie has the line "They may take our lives, but they'll never take our freedom"? Braveheart, Gladiator, uh, Melinda, Long Walk. F uh, Long Walk to Freedom, or is it 300? Mandela Long Walk to Freedom. Braveheart, Gladiator, 300. Seventy-three of you answered correctly with Braveheart. Well done. Okay, next question. Question 18. Kelly Jones is a member of which rock band? Kelly Jones. Manic Street Preachers, Travis, Stereophonics, or Coldplay? Okay, so correct answer here. It is Stereophonics. 57 of you answered this correctly. Drive along into third place now. I get the Quisty in fourth. Next question, question 19. What day is Halloween celebrated on? March 17th, October 30th. November 1st, October 31st. Seventy-two correct answers. Five of you rushing in when you heard October thirtieth. Um, no, thirty-first. Right. Let's have a look. No change on the top five. Here is question twenty, the last one before we take a short break. In the Peanuts cartoon strip, who is the sister of Charlie Brown? Is it Patty, Sally, Marcy, Lucy? Correct answer, it is Sally. 
Right, this is the scoreboard, folks, for uh, round one. We're going to take a short five-minute break. When we come back, we have the questions to round two. So top up those drinks. We'll see you shortly.
Okay, so guys, welcome back to round two of tonight's smartphone quiz brought to you by Passage East Hurling Club. Okay, so we're moving on now next to question 21. Here we go. Multiple choice. In an Oscar-nominated film, Michael Sheen plays David Frost during his interview with whom? Is it Charles de Gaulle, Fidel Castro, Margaret Thatcher, Richard Nixon? Forty-eight correct answers. Frost versus Nixon. Yeah, forty-eight correct answers. Well done. Okay, so question number twenty-two. Which gospel does not tell of the birth of Jesus? Is it Mark, John, Matthew, Luke? Fifteen correct answers. The lowest amount replied. It is Mark. Okay, so Agatha Christie moves in the second place. Well done. Question twenty-three. Which of these is an adventure novel by Robert Louis Stevenson? Is it marooned, hijacked, shipwrecked, kidnapped? Correct answer, it is kidnapped. 37 of you answering correctly. Okay, so question 24. The so-called gas giants of the solar system consist of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and what other planet? Is it Venus, Mars, Neptune, or Mercury? So the so-called gas giants of our solar system consist of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, but which other? Is it Venus, Mars, Neptune, Mercury? Forty-two correct answers with Neptune. Neptune. Federators in fifth place. Stom is the highest climber. Question 25. What was Stan Lee's middle name? Is it Mark, Marlon, Martin, Marvin? Coincidentally, of course, we have a superheroes quiz tomorrow evening from 7 p.m. If you're interested in joining that, you can get the details later. Super qu Superhero Quiz tomorrow at 7. Martin is the correct answer. Well done. Okay, so new leaders, Coronas. Question 26. Which country's flag is this? Greece, Israel, Mexico. Sixty-three 
74 correct answers with Israel. Okay, so three in a row for flu fighters. Question 27 now. Which Motown singer's name is in the title of a 2015 song by Charlie Poole and Megan Trainer, Barbara Streisand, Smokey Robinson, Marvin Gaye, Lionel Richie? Yeah, 65 correct answers with Marvin Gaye. Let's Marvin Gaye and get it on. Okay, so question 28. Our annual summer camp is fondly known as Spud's Camp, Noli's Camp, Cruiser's Camp, Max's Camp. Thirty-nine correct answers with Max's camp. Okay, so let's move on. Question twenty-nine now. Which of these was not one of the daughters in the TV series The Waltons? Mary Ellen, Erin, Elizabeth, Sarah Jo. Forty-eight correct answers. Sarah Joe is not one of those. Okay, so let's move on. Question thirty now. Dame Judi Dench won an Oscar for playing which historical character? Is it Queen Elizabeth I, Anne Boleyn, Mary Queen of Scots, or Florence Nightingale? Sixty-five correct answers with Queen Elizabeth the first. No change at the top anyway. It is question thirty-one. Who plays the Mad Hatter in Tim Burton's Alice in Wonderland? Johnny Depp, Matt LeBlanc, Matt Damon, Robin Williams. Jolly Depp, correct answer. Well done, 76 of you. Okay, so question 32 now. What is the title given to the head of the Scottish clang? Is it Boss, Skipper, Chief, Mayor? Sixty-three correct answers with Chief. Top five staying as they are. Here's question thirty-three. 
which company uses the slogan think outside the bun mcdonald's burger king taco bell subway Forty six correct answers with Taco Bell. Life Behind Mars moved into second place. Liver Let Die into third. Question thirty four. Who is this Simpsons character? Doctor Marvin Monroe, Doc uh, Mr. Cotsonton, is it Apu? Seventy five correct answers with the poo. Okay, so next question, question thirty five. In what year did the under sixteens win the club's first county title? Two thousand one, nineteen seventy one, nineteen eighty one, nineteen ninety one. Pretty correct answer is 1981. Okay, that moves teams about. Three teams moving up positions here. It is question 36. 1707 is known as what in Roman numerals? Four options below. Sixty-three correct answers. Well done. Okay, Federators moved up. Drive it along is also into fifth place. Question thirty-seven. Which of these is a type of cotton fabric? Field, lawn, grass, meadow. Fifteen correct answers. Lawn. Question thirty-eight. What does the M stand for in the abbreviation GMT? Minutes, mean, medium, most. Seventy three correct answers with mean. Okay, so question thirty nine. I'm a popular horror film who is lying. Halloween, Scream, Friday the thirteenth, or Mean Machine. So I'm a popular horror film who's lying here. Is it Halloween, Scream, Friday the thirteenth, or Mean Machine? Sixty 
62 correct answers here. Mean Machine. Top five staying as they are. Okay, next question is 40. Uh, we mentioned we're going to be doing first letter of your answer. We also mentioned you're going to have to spell the answer. This next one is you need to spell the full answer. It's not a first letter, okay? It is question 40. We'll take a short break after this one. So spell it out entirely. Spell this car manufacturer. Check out the logo. Need you to spell the full name. Hit send when you're done. That'll push your answers to me. Right, here's all the different spellings. It's going to leave you with this one here. 67 correct answers. we got some more of those later on. In the meantime, here's the halftime scores. We're back in five minutes with the questions to round number three. Okay, we'll see you shortly for that.
Okay, so welcome back to uh, part three of tonight's quiz. Hope it's going well for you. You're not too far behind the leaders. We're only halfway there, folks. Another 40 questions to go. Anything can happen. Hope you're enjoying it so far. Okay, so on we continue. Here's question 41. Who has won three All-Stars? Is it Owen Kelly, Noel Connors, Barry Walsh, Sean Conan? Sixty correct answers with Noel Connors. Correct answer. Okay, so let's move on to question forty-two. Traditionally, who would be most likely to use a plow in his work? Is it blacksmith, archer, farmer, greengrocer? Seventy-five correct answers with farmer. Top five staying as they are. Here's question forty-three. Which of these is a sign of the zodiac? Scorpio, Torio, Gemino, Carpio. Scorpio, correct answer. Well done. No change at the top for been some time since we've had. Nonetheless, here's question 44. Beyonce Knowles was a member of which of these groups? Is it Atomic Kitten, TLC, Girls Allowed, Destiny's Child? Speed earns you more points, don't forget. Continuous correct answers give you bonus points. Keep that in mind. Seventy-four correct answers here. It is Destiny's Child is the correct answer. Question forty-five. What type of numbers are first, second, third, and fourth? Is it marginal, cardinal, fractional, ordinal? Fifty-one correct answers with ordinal is the correct answer here. Okay, so three teams moving up positions here on this question. Good going. Here's question forty-six. What is the name of the plot in a garden where flowers are grown? Chair, table, bed, wardrobe. Seventy-five correct answers with bed. Okay, so drive along, just pump back into fifth place with this one. Here's question forty-seven. If you are 
smartly or elaborately attired, you are made to dress up to the what? Is it sixes, sevens, eights, or nines? Seventy-three correct answers dressed up to the nines. That's correct. Question forty-eight now. Which of these is most likely to be put into a flagon? Is it? I'd say it should be screen coal. Is it arrows, drink, or paper? Coal, arrows, drink, or paper? Seventy-four correct answers with drink. No change in the top five. Question forty-nine. What are we looking for here? Full spelling, folks. Full spelling. Complete the spelling of this brand. Correct answers are on the screen. Sports Direct. Uh, 68 correct answers here. Snickers. Right, let's move on. Here's question 50 now. What is the name of Sherlock Holmes' housekeeper? Miss Herbert, Miss Hughes, Miss Hall, Miss Hudson. Fifty-four correct answers. Miss Hudson is the correct answer. Life Behind Wires moved into fifth place here. Blaze Boys is back with an answer streak of three. Question fifty-one. In which room are school children most likely to have their lessons? Remember, speed, more points. Changing room, classroom, living room, bathroom. Seventy-six correct answers with classroom. One was in the changing room and the other one is in the bathroom. Nice. Right, let's have a look at the scoreboard. No change in the top five. Having the clues back with an answer streak of three. Next question. It is question 52. It's a picture question and we're going to slowly reveal it to you. So which Premier League team's crest logo is this? When you think you know the answer tap the team slowly revealing it when you know the answer tap the team Fifty-eight correct answers with Everton FC, and twenty of you went with Chelsea. You saw blue in your Ranford. Not to worry. No change. Top five. Quizly Bears sixty has an answer streak of seventeen correct answers in a row. That's good going. Question fifty-three. Multiple choice. The annual Saint Stephen's Day Club fundraiser is called. The Jingle Ball Run, the Bounce Ball Run, the Golf Ball Blitz, or the Jungle Book Run.
73 correct answers. The Jingle Ball Run is the correct answer. Crazy Bear 60, as I said, they are doing very well. They have an answer streak of 18 correct answers now in a row. Here is question 54. A groom is a person employed to look after which animals is it? Snakes, fish, horses, ducks. Seventy-six correct answers. Said horses. One said snakes. No change at the top. Question fifty-five. Which document would be endorsed with a visa? Is it birth certificate, passport, tax return, a television license? Seventy six correct answers with passport. No change in the top five. Here's question fifty six. What type of creature is a silk worm? Caterpillar, cantaloupe, spider, mango. Caterpillar, centipede, I'm sure, spider, mango, mango, whatever that is. <laughs> yeah, 68 of you answered correctly. Nonetheless, caterpillar is correct. Uh, three teams moving up. In the uh, top five here, LBW in fifth place. Fenner Raiders are sniffing out first place right now with the Quizly Bears in third. Here is question 57. Which town in New Mexico was allegedly the site of a UFO crash landing in 1974? Is it Doswell, Boswell, Coswell, Roswell? Fifty eight correct answers with Roswell. LBW just moved into fourth place with this one. Here's question fifty eight. Uh, first letter of your answer is fine for this one. First letter of your answer, as I said, is perfectly fine. No need to spell out the full thing. Don't forget to hit send if you have it uh, typed in.
Let's have a look at your answers as the computer calculates all of those up. Uh, just George Henderson. <laughs> Man, George. Uh, so, Miley Cyrus, M is fine, but those are the three answers we are accepting for this one. Okay, so we're moving on to question 59 now. Which of these means a short distance? Pebbles, Chuck, Boulders, Sling, Rocks, Hurl, Stones, Troll. Seventy-six correct answers, but Stone's Throw is the correct answer here. Okay, so let's get one more question before we take our third and final break in tonight's quiz. Here's question 60. Which of these might be whispered into the ear of a loved one? Sweet anythings, sweet everythings, sweet nothings, sweet somethings. Yeah, 73 correct answers. Sweet nothings is the correct answer. Let's take a look at the scoreboard. So, as we head for this, our third uh, break, as we enter into round four. Let's take a break, and we're back in about five minutes. Top up those drinks. We'll see you soon.
Okay, so welcome back, guys, to the fourth and final part of tonight's quiz. Have you much to do to catch the leaders? Can you do it in the next 20 questions? We're going to find out in just a moment. Before we do that, I want to say congratulations to Aaron Jones on winning the Munster final in the All-Ireland FIFA Charity Tournament. Fair play, and he is through to the semi-final tomorrow. So congratulations to you, Aaron. Well done. Excellent. Right, so 20 questions remain. Let's find out who is going to win tonight's quiz. Let's continue. Question 61, multiple choice. Double top is a score in which sport? Is it basketball, darts, snooker, polo? Seventy-three correct answers with darts. No change. Top five. Grizzly Bear sixty. Answer streak twenty-six correct answers in a row. Fair play. Here we go. Question sixty-two. What name is given to a summer house positioned to command a view? Is it Gazania, Gazelli, Gazebo, or Gizmo? Seventy-two. Gazebo, correct answer. Well done, seventy-two teams. Question sixty-three now. <clears throat> what name is given to our coins of low value? Is it coppers, irons, zincs, tins? It is coppers. Well done to 77 of you. Question now 64. What is a secure underground room used to store valuables? Beam, bar, horse, vault. <clears throat> 77 correct answers with vault okay the next question whilst it is multiple choice we are taking a few different answers for this okay the more correct answers in this multiple choice you give me the more points you earn however if you select one of the options as wrong you get no points it's multi-select it's called okay goes like this Select all the alternative short ways you can call Richard. One of these is wrong. If you hit a wrong answer, you get no points, even if you have some right answers. Make sure then you hit submit when you're done to send the answer to me. Make sure you hit submit. Right, so red, blue, and green are fine. Perfect. If you had those, well done. Right, let's see. Top five. Any movements? No, they're staying as they were. Next. Question 66. When an American says, check please, in a restaurant, what is he asking for? Is it wine, salt, bill, or the menu?
Correct answer here, it is the bill. 75 of you answering correctly. Question 67 next. Inkjet is a type of which piece of office equipment? A stapler, modem, printer, telephone. Seventy six correct answers. It is a type of printer. Left behind bars just moved into fifth place with this question. Here's question sixty eight. Spell the full answer for me, please. Complete the spelling of this brand logo. I need the full spelling. <laughs> correct answer here it is Ikea is the correct answer 70 of you answered correctly Agatha Christie making a comeback with three in a row here's question 69 which of these is a type of fish is it Halifax hallelujah halibut Seventy six correct answers. How about this correct? Well done. No change. Top five. Quizard of Oz. Make it a comeback with three in a row. Question now seventy. Multiple choice. Who is the captain of the first Waterford Senior Hurling team to win the Munster title in nineteen thirty eight? Barry Walsh, Willie Doyle Walsh, David Walsh, Rory Walsh. Sixty-seven correct answers with Willie Doyle Walsh. Correct answer. Right, that moves uh, Quizly Bears now into second place with that. What they've answered the last thirty-five questions correctly in a row. Phenomenal. Question seventy-one, multiple choice. What is a set of cards won in a game by the person who plays the card with the highest value? Is it a spoof, a dodge, a trick, a bluff? Forty-one correct answers with trick is the correct answer. Blaze Boyce is back with an answer streak of three. Okay, question seventy-two, multiple choice. Which part of a house would be protected by a fender? Kitchen sink, immersion heater, bath, fireplace. Sixty-five correct answers with fireplace. Question seventy-three, multiple choice. 
The name of what spread is used to refer to something that causes strongly positive or negative reactions. Marmite, marmalade, margarine. The name of what spread is used to refer to something that causes strongly positive or negative reactions. Marmite, marmalade, margarine. Seventy. You either love it or hate it. It's Marmite. LBW into third at this late stage in the quiz. Here is question 74. The popular Instagram hashtag MCM stands for Man Crush What? Madness, Magic, Mania, Monday. Sixty-five correct answers. It is Monday. Left behind bars into fourth place. Question seventy-five now. Who's the only person to have won the Oscar for Best Actress in a Leading Role four times? Sally Field, Catherine Hepburn, Meryl Streep. Catherine Hepburn is the answer we have here. This is one for us to double check at the end of the quiz. 22 of you had that. Uh, Fenner Raiders was one of those that put them into fourth place. Uh, three in a row from We Love John, is it? <laughs> Nicely done. Okay, here is question 76. Which number is the largest? Is it trillion, centillion, quadrillion? Sixty correct answers. Centrillion is the correct one. Okay, question seventy-seven next. What is the name of this country? Multiple choice. Tunisia, South Korea, Yemen. Uh, 49 correct answers with South Korea is the correct answer. No change. Late stage now, folks. 78 of 80. Which character did Michael Jackson play in the musical film The Wiz? Was it the Thin Man, the Scarecrow, or the Lion? Mm. 
50 correct answers. The Scarecrow is the correct answer here. Federators into third place with this one. Question 79. In old measurement, 22 yards is equal to one watt. Chain furlong cubit. Correct answer here, it is chain is the correct answer. Leaders not getting this one correct. Right, we are playing the final question. We want you to spell out the answer, the full spelling. Name this car manufacturer. Right, let's have a look at your answers. Fifty correct answers. Peugeot is the correct answer. Okay, so guys, we're about to give you the results, the unofficial results from tonight's quiz. What we're going to do is go back through it all and make sure we had no disconnections or anything like that. Where will you find the full results? Yes, if you come along to our Facebook page, John O'Connor Smartphone Quiz Host. I'll be posting up every single uh, score from tonight's quiz on that. Uh, before we do that, I want to thank uh, Anne-Marie, of course, for booking myself for this uh, second time passage uh, quiz. Hope you're enjoying it out there. And again, if there's anyone out there watching this that you think a club or organization could benefit from running a fundraiser quiz just like this one, do get in contact with me. Happy to help in any way we can. And uh, from myself, thank you so much for playing. We'll get you these results now next, folks. So, unofficially, we have third place, Fenner Raiders. Second place, Cor Cor Coronas. <laughs> I love the names. And the leaders, the winners, Quizly Bear 60. Got in there just in the last uh, question or there, was it? So fantastic on those. Uh, the option to give us some feedback now on your devices. If you enjoyed the quiz, let us know. Give us a five star and so forth. As we said, we're going to give you the res uh, final results in a few minutes time on the Facebook John O'Connor Smartphone Quiz host. And all is left for me to say is thank you so much for playing. You're welcome to play any of our quizzes. We have a regular Thursday night one. It's open to everybody. We will be sending you all a newsletter in the coming days about that. Guys, have a great bank holiday weekend. Uh, we will see you very soon for another smartphone quiz. Have yourselves a good one. Good night.